movement now that maybe some of you have heard about, and it's called writing to read. And that the connection between reading and writing, we've always known that the more you read, the better you write. You can kind of like mentor text sorts of ideas. But there's also this idea that as we write, we actually read better. And this is like one little strategy that you can try um, with some of your texts in any of the content areas you're teaching. I'm going to model it through <coughs> science. And, um, and we're going to see how that might be applied as one little strategy to any other things that you're doing. Uh, so this one's just generating some sentences. It comes from a webinar that I took. And we'll start with this picture. It's a labeled picture. And I'll give you some sentence starters up here. Um, you have to be in a place that you can actually see the picture and the labels. But it's lovely that we have teams of two. So with your teams of two, we're going to take the person who um, works with the older students. You get to start. So in your team of two, whoever works with older students, if you have the same, decide who, whichever of you is older. <laughs> the older person or the, old, the teacher of the older students, you get to start. And um, you're just going to say one thing you can tell about the heart, one thing you know about the heart based on the pictures and the sentence starters. And then your partner says one. So you say a sentence, your partner says a sentence. Just go back and forth now. Sentences about the heart. Go ahead. So the heart she has, has heart two chambers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Take a quiet moment to quick write a paragraph about the heart. in our textbook, and it's just one paragraph you'll find in this text that your sentences might look the same as some of the sentences in this paragraph. You haven't written the whole thing, but you've written a part of it. Just go ahead and read through that and see if you can find where are your sentences. Just whisper to your partner, where do you find your sentences in that paragraph? There's more than you have. But where do you find your sentences? Lisa, could you come up and just point to where your sentences are? Um, just in general? Okay. Let's see if Lisa, right in there, exactly. I put it in blue for you. So Lisa painted the blue, that's exactly. So your sentences are probably these in here, and you may have done some more, like um, Mindy talked about muscle and being an important muscle, that's great. She added some more things, but that's really the heart of most of your sentences because of the support that I gave you. But now go back and look and how is this different than your sentences? See if you can find how to make your sound even more academic. Go back to what you wrote and compare it to what the author of the scientific writing did. See what you can find that might be different. She wrote the heart has two chambers, but she noticed in the scientific writing they used the word consist. There was another word that went with it. We can't just say the heart consists to, we have to say consists of. Thanks for adding that to say. Um, the heart consists of. Always in English, we consist of something. So it's the same as has, made up of, and consists of. And then Lisa also noticed that, oops, atriums, the plural is actually atria. That's kind of crazy plural. It's Latin. And so she made that correction. Right? Did anyone notice anything else? Thank you, Lisa. That was great, noticing. Anything else on? 
on there. Very nice close reading, you can get that back. Way to go. All right. So that is really, and, and it was back, and now it went away. There it is. So I set you up with a picture, okay, like that with some sentence frames. Now I set you up to write has, because that's the social language, and I know you'll know the meaning. But when you got into the text, because you'd already written has, and you made the comparison, it was like, oh, consists of, that must be has. And you could, I loved how you did it, so I had to show that. It was exactly and right. I forgot the of, though. That's, that's fine. I got to teach it then because, and I'm glad you didn't, and I didn't ask you to put it on there. I wanted to use it as a teachable moment. When we teach verbs like that, you have to teach the preposition with it. So I'm interested in something. I'm not interested to or interested for. or inter I'm interested in. It consists of. Yeah, it's... We have to teach verbs with their prepositions. It's one of the hardest things for our English language learners to get. So word walls should have actually those kinds of things together, um, words, verbs and preps. Um, so you're going through and reading very specifically, comparing to your own writing, and learning through what you wrote how to read closely yeah, for more information and getting the um, vocabulary out of it. So that was really the strategy. How we did it, you take a picture. Um, and you're going to verbally describe that content with a picture. I gave you sentence frames. And I have to tell, that was from the Center for Applied Linguistics. I didn't make it up. But that's the first stage, is you're going to orally develop the language based on a picture that was labeled okay, and had sentence frames. 